Welcome back to another video, and you guys did absolutely destroy the previous like goal of 60 likes on the distance calculator in Minecraft. So here is the tutorial, and the binary tutorial will also come as well. I know it's quite niche, but at least some of you guys will enjoy it and find it helpful. So let's get straight into the video. So in terms of what um, scoreboards you have to activate before this tutorial starts, it's going to appear right here on the screen. And let's get straight into the tutorial. So I'm going to just go through this quite quickly. Use this binary and I'll give you uh, guys a separate tutorial on binary uh, later. Um, but here it is just going. Let's just go through this quickly. Uh, it is quite a lot of command blocks. Remember, uh, no ticks. All the, the arrows got to be facing the same way on the command blocks. And I'm just going through this quite quickly. But basically, it's just teleporting instantly fast, and when it's when it, for example, when it detects that it can teleport 100 blocks forwards without uh, going past the armor stand, we'll just give it the score blocks of, for example, 100, because you know but we don't use 100 here. This 128 because it's binary. Um, but basically, yeah, it just counts the blocks. It travels, and this system works instantaneously as it. Um, all works in one tick uh, or of course depending on the size if you were to go do something like 3,000 I didn't calibrate this to do some crazy like 10,000 blocks and it will probably take like eight seconds for it to calculate that or something uh, but yeah and here's the for the halfway mark here's this on the, the commands for that so just copy this I did get this one correct right yeah I'm going to give you guys a, a little showcase at the end of this uh, just tutorial here, so you can just uh, explain a little, bit, a little bit how you use it, and but yeah. Boom, and then this one right here, visibility, always active, you know, and Android particle, just so you can see it. This one right here one right here and now you should be fine so basically how this works is first off you have uh you can call it a dev point i don't know what you, you can call it whatever you really want to call it I'll just call it so you gotta give yourself of course you have to get an armor stand and you have to get two name tags named calc and stop and basically first or you don't have to do this or you should not you have to do this firstly so first you get an arm stand and you name it stop and basically what you gotta do after this is you just go in any direction you want to go for example, this way or this way. I'm going to this way. And then you go how many blocks you want to go. And then you place the other armor stand. And remember, this armor stand should be facing this armor stand right here. And being this, being in the same lane as this armor stand as well. And then basically all you got to do is name this one Calc. And... Ooh, I think I'm outside the reach of the clone book. So there you go. So I forgot to add a ticking area so it doesn't have infinite range. Because I'm kind of dumb. But basically, that's about what you got to do. You got to just make them face the same way. And you're pretty much good. For example, right there, I did it in that way. Or in that direction. So let's do it the other direction instead. Like this. And as you can see. Pretty nice. And that's it for the tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time. And if you guys really want to know how to put the blocks on the sidebar there, I can just go through this really quick really right now. It's just slash scoreboard, objective, set display, sidebar, blocks. And then just press enter and it will appear on the side there. But I hope you guys enjoyed and see you guys next time. Peace.